These K-4 soldiers near Mitrovica in northern Kosovo are accompanying a convoy to a remote crossing point on the Serbian border. Their task is to deliver fuel, fresh water and a crane to a K-4 camp called Gate 1. By sending the convoy, the commander of the more than 6,000 strong K-4 force, Major Erhard Drevs, is testing the freedom of movement in northern Kosovo. Since the 16th of September, when ULEX, together with the institutions in Kosovo, established a border regime at the respective gates, we faced a big number of roadblocks um, isolating the northern Kosovo territory from uh, the mainland of Kosovo, and at the same time preventing K4 as well as uh, ULEX from freedom of movement in that area. ULEX is the EU's rule of law mission assisting Kosovo's police, judiciary and customs. They man the border crossings in the north where this convoy is headed. My armed vehicle in the front, that's first. This is second car. Okay. You are the third. We can drive out now? Yeah. Okay. If you uh, put this car near, this car can go. Ethnic Serbs in northern Kosovo don't recognize Kosovo's 2008 declaration of independence. They have been setting up roadblocks like this one here on the outskirts of Mitrovica in an attempt to prevent the authorities in Pristina from seizing control of the border crossings. As we head north with the convoy, we see several Serb checkpoints but are able to pass without difficulty. Just days ago, the Serb minority here began dismantling roadblocks the result of local consultations, says the commander of K4. The mayors and the representatives of the northern people have been more compliant and come to an agreement which uh, is just in a very fluid phase. So at present we are testing to what extent they are compliant with regard to freedom of movement. The dismantling of many roadblocks by Serbs has helped de-escalate tensions in the region. The move also follows a recent EU brokered agreement between Kosovo and Serbia to jointly manage their border controls. Why are we insisting on freedom of movement? First, because it's our core mission. Second, because as long as there is no freedom of movement in northern Kosovo, ULEX and the institutions in Kosovo are prevented from uh, realizing the rule of law in this country. Presently, there is no rule of law. There are no legal institutions, no working police and other institutions. As the convoy heads into the mountains, it passes a former Serb roadblock near the town of Zubin Potok, where Serb demonstrators recently clashed with K4 forces. On the 28th of November, when K4 moved to clear the barricade here, they faced violent demonstrators. The soldiers used rubber bullets, tear gas and pepper spray in self-defense. The clashes left scores injured on both sides, but the violence used against K4 soldiers reached a new level. So far, they went not that violent. So the use of lethal means like AK-47, AK like hand grenades or Molotov cocktail, it was the first time uh, since three months that inflicted heavy losses on K4 as a total of 30 soldiers have been wounded. Uh, fortunately, only one soldier severely wounded, but other soldiers being shot at with uh, wounds by firearms, by Molotov cocktails and by hand grenades. The commander hopes that through dialogue and consultations, these scenes will not be repeated. Today's convoy reaches the remote camp without incident but we're told the trucks have taken a detour to avoid a remaining roadblock. The camp commander is happy to have the fresh supplies and the crane he's been waiting for for months. We're here to keep the gate, the uh, entry here into Serbia open, uh, here to provide security for that gate with the ULEX down there, conducting customs and uh, provide a safe and secure environment. The crossing is open and as far as we can see the Serbs have cleared away a barricade further down this road. The change is that they have cleared it themselves on the Serbian, uh, on the Serbian part and uh, we have had it clear here for a longer period and now it's totally open 
but far ahead inside Serbia they had closed some of the road for the time being. We don't know what the situation is quite now, but it's in Serbian part. K4's test today has been successful, but for Ulex vehicles it's still a different story. They're still unable to pass the remaining Serb checkpoints. K4's task to stay neutral but ensure freedom of movement remains a difficult but important mission. In pursuing our mission to establish freedom of movement, we have to oppose those which prevent us from freedom of movement. I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting for the NATO Channel from northern Kosovo.